welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be recreating how I did my makeup in high school. It, it was pretty bad, but I'm gonna see if I can make it, make it look good today. This was like a trend a while ago and I just thought of it again while I was doing my first YouTube video, which I mentioned. I watched Nikki Tutorial's video, but I don't know if she was the original creator of this video, but I'll I'll find out and I'll link whoever did b below. I'm gonna start off with the foundation because that's what I did. Oh, no, I need to talk about. You need to calm down. I actually still love this foundation, but I can only really wear it in winter because it's super dewy. It's the Fit Me Dewy, dewy and Smooth Foundation in 210, which is exactly the same shade that I picked out for myself when I was in year 7, which I am actually still really impressed with because I guess that means that I was, um, I was wearing the right foundation shade. I think I used to use a flat foundation brush, but I don't have any because I hate flat foundation brushes because they are so hard to clean. It's just, it's just a mess. So, I think I'm just going to go in with my beauty blender. I just have a little bit of on the back of my hand and we're going to, oh no, 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 let's not do this yet. I need to use my, I actually used a primer, believe it or not. So I used Professional by Benefit. I hate this now. I... That's my dog. That's my dog. It's okay. It's not someone trying to kidnap. Otis? Oh, Mom. You scared me. Mom? Yeah. Oh. That was a roller coaster, yes. Why did you come through the back? I thought you were a kidnapper. I totally forgot what I was saying. But yeah, I do not like this primer at all. I feel like it it just feels gross. Like I feel like it balls up a little bit when I put it on. I feel like I've said this to someone before. I feel like it just makes me feel like I'm putting food on my face. And I just feel like it doesn't do anything. So I'm gonna put my I'm just gonna put this on my nose because I think that's awful. Yeah, I only put it on my nose. And then I put something else on the rest of my face. It's such a weird consistency. Okay. And then, I don't know how I still have this, and it's probably off. Yeah, it's probably off, so if I break out, I'm blaming you guys, because you guys decided on this video instead of the other one. But this is... I bought this from Napoleon. I don't... Th yeah, Napoleon packaging does not look like this anymore this is like old okay so yeah this is old as and this is definitely probably shouldn't be using this on my face but I'm doing it for YouTube it's called the pre foundation primer set and it looks like this sorry I have the foundation because I almost did it and it's pink and it's it smells like soap and it's glittery it's glittery it's glittery Oh, man, why did I put this on my face if it felt so gross? This and the professional. Oh. Okay, let's go in with the foundation. No, this foundation's actually really good, and I'm surprised. I'm still surprised that I used it, but it's actually really, really nice. Um, I definitely recommend this for um, dry skin people because it's a beautiful foundation. It's just not good for me and my oily skin. Oh, and, okay, so I would do my makeup in the morning. I would literally wake up at, like, 6.30, I think, straighten the beep out of my hair, and then do my makeup, And because it would take me, what, two hours to get ready for school. I would just pack this on. I would, whatever, do my makeup, how I'm going to show you. And then, at lunchtime, I would redo my makeup, but I just put foundation and powder over my like worn off, sweaty, dirty skin. And that's what I would do. That's how I would live my life every single day. I would go through foundation so quickly because I would apply it twice a day. It was just horrendous. And I would like go over my eyebrows because I don't know why. Why did I do that? But I would. And then it would look really gross because my eyebrows were all, they were all powdery and they had foundation on them. I'm crying for myself right now. 
I remember having like the Age Rewind Maybelline Concealer, which is actually really good, but I don't have that anymore. So I'm just going to go in with some Fit Me. Um, yeah, I'm going to put this under my arms. This is just in light. Blend that under our eyes. Okay, this is probably the worst part. Like this is, this is why it all looked so bad. Okay, this is, okay, so my mum used to be a ballerina, right? And when you're, like, for her makeup, they did, like, for the, um, for, like, the concerts they had, they had to wear, you know, they did their makeup a certain way. It's different because it's, like, theatre makeup. Yeah. So this is what I used to use because it was in our cupboard in the bathroom. But this is what my mum used to wear, like, on theatre, and it would make, like, she'd, pack it oh, freak, for, for, for theatrical makeup like it's not for your everyday lighting so this massive tub theatrical blending powder in neutral definitely not translucent looks like ooh. I'm gonna grab this on a big fluffy brush there is white powder everywhere in the air And I just set my whole face. Yeah. yeah. I don't know if you guys can see how white this is. But anyway, there was this photo of me that someone took in the corridor with flash. I don't know why. And, oh my god, I looked, I looked like, um, Flashback Mary. I looked like Flashback Mary. A hundred percent. Like, it was so, it was so bad. It was so bad. But, yeah. This is what I used. I also, uh, I kind of upgraded to the Rimmel translucent powder, which I think is not bad for a drugstore setting powder. But, uh, oh yeah, I feel like you can see now. It is just like so light. <laughs> okay, we're gonna, cons okay, we're gonna, we're gonna contour now. I didn't know what contouring was though, and I didn't know what to use. I went to MAC. Maybe my 13th birthday because I got a gift voucher for $100 and I bought Velvet Teddy. Yep, I bought Velvet Teddy and I bought a skin finish and it's in Global Glow, which I still love, but I used this totally differently back then. The thing is, this has a, like, it's quite shimmery and it is a skin finish because you just kind of, like, it's like a highlighter sort of thing. Or I use it, like, this is a bit dark, so I use it for, like, a light bronzer like I'd never use that much it's very warm it's not it's not for contouring <laughs> Mia why did you do this I still use this I actually really like this um it's the eyebrow cake powder by NYX oh how did I do my eyebrows I think I just fill them in randomly I don't think I did any lines or anything Great. There is a reason why I carve out my eyebrows now. Oh, they look so sad. <laughs> okay. Um, now let's do my eyeshadow. Yes. Mia wore eyeshadow. I use like this kind of stiff blending brush. It's not stiff. It's just like usually if I was blending something into my crease, not for definition, I would use like this because it's like super fluffy. But no... May I use this? And I figured that if I use something, actually, this isn't a bad tip. If I use products that I'd already used on my face, like contour or my highlight on my eyes, then it would look more natural, which, fair enough, she had a point. I didn't use this for contour back then, which I really wish I had, but I'm gonna use my hula, um, and I just put this in my crease. My eyelids are creasing so bad from the like foundation because it's dewy and then I'd use this and I put this on my lid I actually used to use the illegal length by Maybelline it was like I don't I real I don't think they make it anymore because I haven't seen it but it was it was I think it was really good it was like silver and like kind of like a cube shape with like pink writing but I also used the essence mascaras I had heaps of these because they're literally like two you dollars know that's not bad that ain't bad mascara it's kind of clumpy, but um, 
Oh, it literally says plump, no clump. That's what it's called. But it's... Sorry. Sorry, boo. It's a bit clumpy. I used to use these all the time. And it was one of the things that I obviously brought to school to redo my makeup. And it's the... It's actually eyeshadow. Yeah, it's mineral eyeshadow. And it's like loose. Um, loose pigment. But I used it as highlighter which I think it was actually it was really pigmented like it was nice one day it just broke and it went all through my bag and it was a bloody mess anyway it's by it's by the balm it's called a sex pot and uh this is what it looks like and it's super super messy um oh it's so it's actually a bit much oh like it, it's 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 kind of cute but it's it's a lot honestly in person it looks like it's like kind of silver it's not really cute. When you like go to a dress up party and dress as someone from the future and just put like silver. Personally I've never done this but you know I just look like a space woman. I look like you right now. What is going on? And I'm just gonna go with my velvet teddy that I wore every day. I can't believe I used to do my makeup like this every single day. So this is the final look. Um yeah so this is what high school Mia looked like because I pretty much haven't aged since like I was in year six. So pretty much like identical. So yeah, please like and subscribe and I will see you guys next time. Thanks. Bye. <laughs>